Well hello boys and girls and welcome to another week of Sunday School Online. I hope you had a great week. This week's story features some spies. I wonder do you like films with spies in them? They're often very exciting and so is this story. This story is all about Rahab helping someone else. I wonder if you ever helped someone. What did you do for them and why did you want to help? Today we're going to hear a story about a time that Israelites needed help and it came from a very unlikely person. We'll also learn that God rescues those who trust in him. At church we love the Bible because it's God word to, God's word to us, his people. Today we're going to jump into the Old Testament book of Joshua to hear a story about God's promises. Last week we had learned about Moses. And Moses had led the Israelites through the wilderness for 40 years, waiting to enter the promised land. You might remember that God told Moses he wouldn't be able to enter their land because, of he, because he sinned against God by not trusting him. Even though Moses would never set foot in the promised land, God took him up to the top of Mount Nebo to show him the land so Moses could see that God's promise was about to come true. Moses died there and soon after, God chose Joshua, Joshua to take his place as leader of Israelites. So, God told Joshua that the time had finally come for the Israelites to enter the promised land. The wait was over. It was an exciting time for Israel, but maybe a little scary too. You see, there were other people living in that land already, and God had told the Israelites that it was their job to drive those people out. God encouraged Joshua by saying, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. If you were Joshua, how would you feel? How would God's words made you feel? Joshua's appointed, Joshua appointed two spies to go into the land to see the city of Jericho. When the man, men arrived in Jericho, they came to the house of a woman called Rahab. The king of Jericho was told that two spies had entered the city, that they were staying at Rahab's house. The king had sent messengers to Rahab telling her to bring out the spies. If you were Rahab, what would you have done? Rahab took the spies to her roof and told them to hide under some stalks of flax. Just then, the king's messengers knocked on her door. She must have been nervous as she opened the door to let them in. Where are those Israelite spies, they demanded. Rahab replied, the men were here, but they have left the city. If you hurry, you'll be able to catch up with them. Why do you think Rahab protected the spies? Why didn't she turn them into the king? Let's read from God's word to find out why Rahab saved the spies. In Joshua chapter 2 verses 9 to 11, we read, I know that the Lord has given this land to you and that a greater fear of you has fallen on us, that, that all who live in this country are melting in fear because of you. We have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for when you came out of Egypt. When we heard of this, our hearts melted and everyone's courage failed because of you. For the Lord your God is God in heaven above and on earth below. This just means the people of Jericho knew, Jericho knew about the almighty acts of God and they knew that the Israelites were God's chosen people. The people of Jericho were terrified of what might happen to them. But rather than turning to one true God, they continued singing, sinning by worshipping false gods. Everyone except Rahab. She knew in her heart that God was the one true God and he deserves the worship. Rahab begged the spies to spare her and her family since she had shown them kindness by hiding them. The spies promised that her family would be kept safe as long as they stayed inside her home when Israel came back to the city. Then they told her to tie a scarlet robe in her window that would be a sign to Israel to spare Rahab and her family. The spies returned to Joshua and told him how the people of Jericho were melting in fear of the Israelites saying, the Lord has surely given the whole land into our hands. She was pro Do you think it would have been easy for or hard for Rahab to help the spies? She was probably a little scared, especially since it meant lying to the king of her own country. But Rahab trusted God and knew that the Israelites would prevail over the city of Jericho. She believed that God was bigger than the king and she was right. 
Because she trusted in God, Rahab and her whole family were saved. You see, God rescues those who trust in him. Did you know that God had a very special plan for Rahab? Even though she wasn't an Israelite, God welcomed her into his family because of her faith. You see, God's plan of salvation wouldn't just be for the people of Israel. God loves people from every nation and wants to bring us all close to him. And just like Rahab, anyone who trusts in God and has faith in his son Jesus is saved because God rescues those who trust in him. And that's our story for this week. Remember to check out um, Jill's craft video in the links below in the comments section and in the video description, as well as our song for the week, where you can um, create some actions for a new song that we haven't sang together before. I hope you enjoyed this week's um, Sunday School Online, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye-bye.